Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Today is Friday, the last day of the week, the last day of the month, September 13th, 2022. Let's find out what do we have today in the Forex calendar. Important Chinese data had been published overnight, manufacturing PMI uh, and uh, the Caxin uh, manufacturing PMI uh, data uh, both of them were very interesting. Actual reading uh, for the manufacturing P PMI was 50.1, beating the expectations 49.6 and the previous reading 49.4. So that's a previous, um, that's a pretty nice uh, result. And the uh, um, uh, manufacturing PMI was 48.1, which is worse than expected 49.5 and worse than the previous previous reading of 49.5 as well. So, uh, a bag of a mixed data uh, from uh, China. What else do we have? Uh, interest rate decision in India, 5.90%. But during the uh, London session, we got a, a release of a GDP from the UK. This is a very important event. For the second quarter, GDP is at the level of 0.2%. Very nice. Beats the expectations of minus 0.1, but it's still lower than 0.8% uh, last, uh, last time. The overall GDP for the second quarter is 4.4%, uh, uh, which is better than expected 29 but worse than 8.7% last reading. Uh, we're still waiting for the um, scheduled event from the Germany. Uh, unemployment change is scheduled for release at 5 to 10. And as you can see, unemployment change should drop from 28,000 to 20,000. Uh, at 11 o'clock, there is a scheduled event, uh, the scheduled data release from the European Union. CPI for September is um, expected to increase from 9.1% to 9.7%, and plenty of the European zone countries will release their um, CPIs uh, today and inflation inflation's expectations. Mostly, um, like uh, this, this data are expected to be uh, uh, better than expected. What I mean is that the CPI is supposed to increase from the certain level to the uh, even uh, bigger level. So please keep an eye on this on this data here for the eurozone and for the all particular uh, countries. So uh, that's about the Forex calendar for the last day of September. Please be careful with the weekly close. Please be careful today with the monthly uh, close. There is October, November and December left to the end of the 2022. So the close for the September will close the third quarter if you are looking on the quarterly candles or bars. So please be careful with this uh, as well. Manufacturing PMI and Caxi PMI might have some impact on prices of the uh, of the Aussie, of the New Zealand or other um, uh, interesting um, uh, crypto uh, currencies. But we will start with the uh, British pound and then because of the CPI, we will take a look at the, um, at the euro. So let's start with the British pound. And as you can see, for our chart of the British pound looks very, uh, very bullish. The recent drop, um, almost 1000 pips drop to 1.0346 had been retraced uh, um, and the re recent high was made at the level of 1.1201, which is just nine pips away from the, um, from the uh, technical um, resistance, important technical resistance. This increase uh, was 8.37%, pretty uh, in, in, intense um, uh, retracement. And if we consider uh, some sort of the labeling of this, of this, um, there you go, of this um, retracement or correction, we have for now three waves, okay? So that's the that's the scenario for the three wave increase on the Euro, sorry, of the, on the British pound to uh, American dollar. We might see some sort of the bounce higher. Where? Towards 1.1351 or towards the key uh, technical resistance 1.1410. But still, this bounce in is right now in three waves. A, B, C. So when we when we stop testing these levels from below, okay, then the downtrend might 
um, might start. So this is the scenario for the corrective bounce on the British pound. Okay, that's the that's the first scenario. You you can do the screenshot or whatever. Uh, if that will that will help you and uh, the other uh, scenario right now is uh, something different what I mean there is still a possibility of an impulsive scenario to the upside so we will have wave one this will be wave two that would be unfinished wave three we are waiting for the wave four and for the breakout however in order to complete this five wave impulsive scenario the market must visibly break above technical levels 1.1410 and this last wave the wave number five the fifth wave must uh, must go must close uh, and go above 1.1410 towards 1.16 uh, basically okay so we can extend the wave three towards 1.1401 uh, then consolidate in wave four made a correction in wave four or pullback in wave four it doesn't matter which one triangle double zigzag whatever it doesn't matter right now uh, uh, and then we should really really quickly make impulsive way to the upside in form of the wave five okay if there is if this um basically uh, sequence correct uh, the impulsive sequence is um invalidated which means the level of the uh, high of the wave one this is 1.0929 is violated then the market will, will most likely go down so in that situation the key level here is here we can retrace only here we can retrace even here it doesn't matter as long as 1.0929 is intact wave five then is waiting so two scenarios for the british pound quite hard to say uh, what will happen however please notice the fact that the british pound is uh, in the multi-year downtrend still let's find out what's going on on euro and the situation on euro is very similar but um, uh, this is like um, the, the extent of the retrace was a little bit um, lower uh, we hit the technical resistance on 9811 first pin bar is done confirmation it looks like the second pin bar is in progress the bearish engulfing was made of course here we are above the 30 day uh, sorry 30 periods moving average so that's fine momentum is positive momentum is strong so i think that uh, the bulls still want to um, still want to test this level here uh 9864 9901 this is the demand zone so this is the supply zone so um, there might be some increased bearish activity uh, on this zone however if there is a breakout above the zone it starts to get very very interesting because the next target is 9934 9945 and then the parity so please keep an eye on this level keep on keep an eye on these two levels because it might it might be very uh, very interesting to see how the market will react when we eventually get towards these two levels in the terms of the uh, um, uh, Elliott wave uh, it looks uh, pretty much as the ABC uh, very very nice zigzag pattern ABC I'm just wondering whether there are some um, um, some kind of a uh, let's say uh fibonacci measurements ready uh here if there are any relations uh, between these two levels maybe one to one no one to one maybe or 68 anything like this here uh, apparently no. almost one to one was hit so 61 is uh, is now gone so almost 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 um this measurements was was correct right so we got this uh um length of the wave a is equal to the length of the wave c measured from the bottom of the wave b so looks pretty much um done because 9852 let's say and the high was 9844 which is eight pips miss very interesting so it it might be completed please please notice this this situation s p 500 why I'm looking at S&P 500 because recently they've made some very interesting breakouts and it looks like, please notice the fact, 
this is now technical resistance of course i didn't change the the colors yet but now i can do it because it was tested from uh, from below so the lows of the uh, middle of the uh, july are now very important technical uh technical resistance let me just uh switch to the daily maybe that will be much more visible there you go and zoom in so what i'm talking about is of course this this level here and as you can see we made a new marginal low into the technical support 3603 the low was 3601 bounce was towards exactly the technical resistance and then we down we go okay so the, the s p 500 is still under the pressure there's something cooking here however it was just uh, invalidated the very next day and today's close is very very important this is a daily um, candle uh, uh, stick pattern this is a uh, weekly so we have one two three days of uh three weeks of the decrease pull back next week next week and this week well for now it looks like a pin but like a kind of a um a very interesting candle however however it's still green uh, sorry it's still red of course so that's the weekly let's take a look at the monthly and the monthly chart is completely completely uh bearish so we got two months of a uh, downtrend pullback one to three months of the downtrend new lows pullback rejection reversal month ago and this month is just just killing the the uptrend on the s p 500 so Keep an eye on the monthly charts, keep an eye on the weekly charts as well because they're looking very, very uh, interesting. Gold on the monthly chart, one, two, three, four, five, six red candles on gold. This is a monthly, so as you can see, it looks very, very ugly. New low on monthly chart, six straight month down. Momentum breaking below the level of 50 towards the negative territory clear downtrend after the double top around 2000 and uh, let's say 72 dollars okay very very technical market double top typical technical pattern six months down very reliable uh, right now uh, asset to trade especially in the long term target 1568 and 1450 so that's the gold monthly weekly should confirm uh, well this week is a little bit of a bounce but we've seen that before seven percent up five percent up 5.78 percent up this one is not even i guess two percent or something so okay let's have a let's have an update uh we break above this line again this trend line so we will just uh just uh, ignore it because it's no longer applicable and we just concentrate on the on the up move i think we, we shouldn't go higher than 1688 dollars on uh, gold so that's the uh, gold market uh, and the end of the month on the oil oh sorry i just put wrong chart there you go oil uh day tough and chart we all know that we are still inside of this of this uh veg uh, let's take a look at the weekly and on the weekly there is something uh, different cooking as you can see we can uh, we have this uptrend here this is the weekly time frame chart however please notice the fact we have breakout below the level of 50 negative territory for the extended period of time like two months have not been seen this is only two three weeks this is one week only this is like one week only we have not seen this one since 2020 there you go the of course the the covid collapse so downtrend continues on the on a weekly as well next target 73 23 and let's just switch to the monthly and then the monthly the situation is much 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 more clear because it looks like this market wants to go lower uh, very very much monthly reversal big monthly pin bar big big pimba inside bar inside bar inside bar and correction down we go three four uh, uh red candles here on the monthly chart which means that we will likely hit the 73.23 but however the most important right now uh support is 61.84 and monthly uh monthly of course uh monthly uh moving average which is around 68.18 uh any other technical supports well there is one here which is uh, located a little bit higher i think it should be here 70 75 17 
that's the next target that's the next target it was almost hit uh, recently however we still have a plen plenty of room to go uh, lower big sharp reversal we are approaching the level of 50 on the momentum if we break below the level of 50 61.84 is the uh, the target so we spoke about all of this um all of this markets let's just take a look at the monthly chart of the us dollar to japanese yen no one have any doubt that dollar is winning the in inflation uh inflation game right so uh everyone and their dog is buying us dollar and you can see it here big uptrend big monthly candles monthly close on the us dollar to japanese yen will be bullish weekly one two three four five six seven straight green candles on a weekly approaching of course extremely over overbought market conditions around 145 okay so the pullback is coming however on the daily let me just um uh, tickle with my chart on the daily we are still having a problem with 145 so there is there is we need a little push to the upside in order to make the way for and then we can reverse so the outlook remains bearish momentum is strong positive so the situation is in favor of the us dollar which is again being bought all across the board that's everything from me for today thank you very much for watching this analysis and i hope i see you guys on monday so take care and bye bye